Welcome guys! This is the first video in the myth busting series. I will be taking a closer look at random PUBG myths and use my custom server access to either debunk or confirm the myths. If you want to submit your own myth for testing, please do so in the myth busting suggestions channel on Discord. And if I pick your myth, you will be credited in the video. Today we got three myths to test. Myth number one, running with a pistol is equally fast as running unarmed. Myth number two, the red zone will prioritize areas densely packed with players and isn't just random. Myth number three, you can kill enemies of distance of up to 2000 meters away. So starting off with the running myth. Is it true that running with a pistol is equally fast as running unarmed? Because if that's really true, then you should always run with a pistol and never unarmed due to being able to actually defend yourself. But since we're already testing this, why not also test running with the pan, submachine gun, shotgun, assault rifle and sniper rifle just to see how fast they actually are. We're testing this on the military island and we'll be sprinting 1000 meters in a straight line. The starting signal has gone off and even though it wasn't a perfect start, we only need to see if there's any noticeable relative movement going on between the test subjects. So about halfway into the race, we clearly see that the unarmed pistol and pan are running at equal speed, closely followed by the submachine gun. Then we have the assault rifle and the sniper rifle, and all the way in the back is the shotgun. And waiting at the finish line, this is what we see. There's no noticeable difference between running with a pistol, unarmed or even a melee weapon. The SMG is faster than the assault rifle and the sniper rifle, while the shotgun is the slowest weapon to hold while running. This test was done while sprinting. We also did it with auto run and the results were the same. So the myth is confirmed. Pistol is the best choice when you need to run fast. Next up we got the red zone myth, saying that the red zone will prioritize being in areas with high density of people and for that reason you can actually use the position of the red zone to see where a lot of players are. To debunk this, we've got 26 players on a server having all settings related to red zones and circles completely standard. Everyone is dropping down at school and waiting for the first red zone to appear. The first red zone completely misses us and we're immediately changing position and going inside a building to camp. Thereby checking if camping players for some reason will be more exposed to a red zone or if it doesn't matter at all. And while we're sitting here and chilling, we see red zone after red zone completely miss us. In this entire game, we never even saw one red zone land on top of us. And keep in mind, we have 100% of the server gathered at the same place. For this reason, the myth that the red zone prioritized landing on areas with a high density of players is debunked. The last myth we're having a look at is that you supposedly should be able to kill players at 2000 meters of distance. I've seen multiple claims by players saying they've shot people at incredible distances. But is it even possible to hit someone at that kind of distance? To test this, we're going to the military island again, as we've got 1000 meters of straight runway. We've got 6 people with sharp loaded sniper rifles and long range scopes and ready to take down a long range target. But the thing is, when going beyond 1000 meters, we can't see each other, meaning that we've exceeded the rendering distance of players. First, at about 980 meters, we can see each other again. And just to confirm that the shooters are actually able to hit me at 980 meters, no problem. But when I'm moving beyond the rendering distance to approximately 985 meters, everything goes silent. No one is hitting me and I don't hear a thing. So it seems like the sound is linked to the bullet instead of linked to the player itself. Let's find out. The Dacia is parked at 980 meters and all shooters can see the vehicle. 
and when shooting at it, we can clearly hear the impacts of the bullets. But the moment I move outside the rendering distance of the shooters, the impacts go completely silent and I don't notice a thing. This is super interesting because as you can see by the smoke on the Dacia, the shooters are still hitting the vehicle. But even though we're standing right next to it, we can't hear it at all. So the impact sound of the bullet hitting the target is linked to the shooter and not the bullet itself. But to conclude, the myth that you're able to shoot someone at a distance of 2000 meters is debunked, as you're not even able to shoot someone at a distance further away than about 985 meters, which seems to be the rendering distance of players. So that's all I had for you guys in this video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, subscribe to the channel for more awesome myth busting in the future. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch and I'll see you guys next time.